Hola a todos y bienvenidos aquí en Fantasy 358. Todos me agradecéis con el y vamos a continuar con Kinojas 3. En el último vídeo nos despedimos del mundo de Arendelle, el mundo de Frozen, donde Larsi nos dijo que Elsa y Anna podrían ser las nuevas princesas del corazón y que ya tenían a sus 13 oscuridades. Algo que Sora comenta a Riku y los demás en la Torre de los Misterios, la Torre de Yensid. Sora intenta una vez más convencer a Yensid para que le permita ir al reino de la oscuridad para salvar a Aqua, pero este le dice que todavía tiene que encontrar el poder del despertar, lo que le lleva a embarcarse a un nuevo mundo del que ahora hablaremos. Por otra parte, vemos una escena en la que se reúnen algunos de los miembros de la Organización 13. Tenemos a Larsi, Marlusia, Demix y Luxor, quienes descubren que no fueron elegidos por Xenas, así porque sí, sino porque en ellos se encuentra letargado el poder de la llave espada. Hmm. De modo que nos vamos con Sora, Donald y Goofy hasta un nuevo mundo, o no tan nuevo, ya que se trata de El Caribe, el mundo que ya encontramos en Kingdom Hearts 2 con el nombre de Port Royal, y vuelve a esta nueva entrega de Kingdom Hearts con un aspecto bastante mejorado, una jugabilidad que no da lugar al aburrimiento, una banda sonora de ensueño, y varios minijuegos, lo que lo ha convertido en mi mundo favorito de Kinojas 3. Bueno, pues no me enrollo más, espero que disfrutéis con este capítulo 19 de nuestro modo historia de Kinojas 3. Muchísimas gracias por quedaros a verlo y nosotros nos vemos en el próximo. ¡Hasta pronto! Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Cause we get to be pirates again. Yep, you always did like this world. How could anyone not? Still, it's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship. Got any idea where we're going? Where else? The edge of the world! Captain Sora! Oh? What ails ya, Mr. Goofy? The edge of the world! Aye! We're running out of sea, sir! Aye! We're running out of sea! <laughs> oh? Running, running out? out?
where'd we end up this time? We've been walking forever. I'm exhausted. Some pirates? We won't get anywhere without a ship. Hmm? A ship. Oh. So, uh, this is crab one. Right? Oh, boy. It, it is, is a ship. <laughs> Sora? Huh? Oh, Jack Sparrow! <sighs> Captain Jack Sparrow. Sure is. <laughs> hey, Jack, where are we? Oh. Belay that! Ship absconding! Huh? Help me catch the pearl before she gets away! <laughs> aye aye, Captain. Jack! Mr. Gibbs! Aye, Captain. I thought so. I expect you're able to account for your actions, then. 
sir. There's been a perpetual and virulent lack of discipline upon my vessel. Why? Sir, you're... You're in Davy Jones' locker, Captain. Hmm? Davy Jones' locker? I know that. I know where I am. And don't think I don't. I'm in Davy Jones' locker. Assuredly. Oh, Jack Sparrow. <gasps> Barbosa! Oh. Ah, Hector! It's been too long, hasn't it? Aye, Illa de Muerta, remember? You shot me. Hm? Uh, no, I didn't. Sora, we meet again. Hmm? It's lovely to see you all. Oh, Will! Elizabeth! Is something about you different? Yeah, you look all swashbuckly. Well... I've seen some adventures, but I never thought I'd find you here. Speaking of, where exactly is here? What's all this about a locker? Davy Jones' locker. Jack neglected to repay a certain debt to Jones. So Jones sent the Kraken to devour Jack. And that's how he ended up here. Uh. Then, Davy Jones' locker? You're saying that we've gone beyond... Beyond the grave? Mm. And we're here to rest Jack from his fate. Hmm? Teodolma. Out and about, eh? You had an agreeable sense of the macabre to any delirium. <laughs> he thinks we're a hallucination. <laughs> Complete with these three masqueraders. <sighs> Jack, this is real. We're here. We've come to rescue you. Huh? Have you now? That's very kind of you. But it would seem that as I possess a ship and you don't, you're the ones in need of rescuing. And I'm not sure as I'm in the mood. Jack! Cutler Beckett has the heart of Davy Jones. He controls the Flying Dutchman. He's taking over the seas, and he must be stopped. The Brethren caught his cald. Leave you people alone for just a minute, look what happens. Everything's gone to pot. Hmm? I'm lost. What's going on? Well, um... Sounds to me like this Beckett fella they mentioned is trying to conquer the ocean. Oh. But she belongs to everyone. Yeah, no conquerors. Yeah. Listen, Jack. The world needs you back something fierce. And you need a crew. Why should I sail with any of you? Four of you have tried to annihilate me. Jack, we're on your side. Uh, so you are, mates. I never could have caught the pill without you. Sora, Donald, Goofy, you're hired. Yes. Now, as for the rest of you... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you're in. Gibbs, you can come. <laughs> Way anchor, all hands. Prepare to make sail. Jack. Which way you going, Jack? <laughs> right then, Mr. Sora, the helm is yours, provided no. you oh. pass muster. Huh? See that island there with the two peaks? Prove you can reach that, and the open sea is yours. Oh, <laughs> aye aye. Jack said to head for the island straight in front of us. Hey, 
us on those ships. Ready the cans. So, we do have a destination, right? Oh, I can't tell anymore. Can't express making it up. Hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Cast your fate with Jack Sparrow. And you'll soon be Sharon in the wrath of David Jones. The guy Will mentioned? Who does he think he is, anyway? And what did Jack ever do to him? Truly. You don't know who David Jones be. And you'll say you be men of the sea. D um... Let's put it this way. We're from another sea. Hmm... Are you now? Jack and David Jones' fate be intertwined. Jones, him raise Jack's precious pearl from the depths and make Jack captain for 13 years. In exchange, Jack promised to give Jones him soul as payment. But 13 years pass. And Jack failed to return. <laughs> So Jones, him seen the Kraken to devour Jack, taking him and the Pearl back to the depths. But if Jones learn that witty Jack cheat that fate, him gonna punish Jack even worse. And Jack's friends too. <laughs> Are you um, talking about us? You mean that the Kraken's gonna eat us? Uh, let the Kraken have a crack. I ain't scared. Hmm. Not scared at all. That be rare. Most men, dim run for land at the mention of the Kraken. Not you. But Jack be scared. He want to be free of his debt to Davy Jones. That's why him need the box. The box? Oh, it be a chest where David Jones lock away the part of him that hurt. The pain it caused him was too much to live with, but not enough to cause him to die. Oh. And what part of him is that? <laughs> Him heart. Oh, how does he do it? A creature absent a heart, and yet somehow able to keep existing. Not even my finest replica can claim that achievement. The secret must be in that box. I have to know what mysteries it contains. I believe our orders were to find the box and seize it. No more. Put a leash on that runaway curiosity. Always so short-sighted. Why would the organization seek me out just as soon as I was recompleted, if not to affirm my intellectual prowess and invest in my research? Every stride I make, is a stride for all of us. Oh, really? And what exactly are we striding towards? Hmm? Luxord, do I detect a hint of treachery in your words? What? Don't be absurd. But to be clear, I serve the organization. I don't share your need to please Xemnas. He's good at wrapping you around his little finger. Always has been. Hmm. All I desire is the freedom to continue my research. Ansem the Wise refused to nurture my talents. 
So I cast my lot with Xemnas. With Xehanort, rather. Simple as that. I see. And you don't care how he uses your research? Not in the slightest. All that concerns me is that I complete the perfect human vessel. Mm -hmm. That's all well and good. But I know this world better than you. Kindly stay out of the way. Oh, of course. Considering those pests have shown up, I'd hardly get anything done. I already know what to do with the pests. Then you can resume your stuffy studies. Ah, huh. that's my boy. I'll be watching from the shadows then. Jack, you could have warned us. Yeah, everything went topsy turvy and upsy downsy. Well, at least we're back in the land of the living. Never fear, all according to plan. But that be no reason to rest easy. Huh? A ship. I've never seen one like that. <gasps> Heartless! those fiends again don't impugn me honor why would i conspire with them but you did conspire with them could you discuss it later oh. huh <laughs> get ready oh. hmm i sure do wish we could get a little closer we can! <laughs> Donald and Goofy! Protect the ship! I'll handle the Heartless! <laughs>
big one still firing at the shell.
Well, wait! Oh, no! Sorry. Sora? Sora! <laughs> Donald? Goofy? Where are the others? After you fell, we came looking for you. I guess they must have kept going. Oh. And I was so happy that we got to see them again. That's eager to sail under Captain Jack Sparrow. Who? Oh? Perhaps you'll consider an arrangement. One which requires nothing from you but information. Regarding the Brethren Court, no doubt. In exchange for fair compensation, square my debt with giants. Guarantee my freedom. Of course. It's just good business. Were I in a divulgatory mood, what then might I divulge? Everything. Where are they meeting? What are their plans? <laughs>